You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports fans, let's talk about Naomi Osaka. If you guys remember at the French Open this year, Naomi Osaka refused to fulfill her media obligations. She said that she was suffering from mental health. And I believe she was kind of like the quote unquote godfather for now. All these athletes now saying mental health is the reason why they're not doing well and things like that. We saw that play out also in the Tokyo Olympics as well. And guys, to be honest with you, they just can't handle the pressure. Let's just be honest. Naomi Osaka could not handle the pressure. So that's why she didn't want to speak to the media. She got fined $15,000 and then she withdrew from the French Open. Now, she she did play in the Tokyo Olympics, but she did flame out there. But however, she has returned back to the WTA circuit and she was actually speaking to the media. But however, guys, Naomi Osaka got triggered by a question she didn't want to answer. And guess what she did? She cried and she walked away. Check this out, guys. This is on deadline here. Naomi Osaka tears up, steps away from press conference after aggressively tone question from reporter. Now, guys, the question was not aggressive. It wasn't. This is the media just trying to protect Naomi Osaka. They want to throw her softball questions, you know, or else she'll get triggered. She'll start crying and all this is completely ridiculous. But check this out. In her first press conference since she withdrew from the French Open in Wimbledon, the world's number two women's tennis player, Naomi Osaka, teared up Monday before stepping away from the podium. The trigger, I'm, it's funny that they use that word. The trigger was reportedly a question from longtime Cincinnati Inquirer sports columnist Paul Doherty in a session for the Western and Southern Open in Cincinnati, which is underway. Now, that's the tune up for the U.S. Open. U.S. Open is on hard courts and Naomi Osaka is very good on hard courts. But it says this, according to the New York Times tennis writer Ben Rothenberg, things went smoothly for about four questions until Doherty asked what Rothenberg called a, quote, a fairly aggressively toned question about how she benefits from a high media profile, but doesn't like talking to the media. I think that was a fair question, but check this out. That's when Osaka began to cry and eventually needed to step away from the podium. It's a fair question. How do you say you don't want to talk to the media, but you want to use the media for your benefit? You guys remember this? She said she was taking time off. What is she going to do? Check this out. She used the media and got on the cover of Sports Illustrated to build her brand. But she didn't want to fulfill her media obligations and speak to the media. So now when a reporter asked her a fair question, she runs away and she cries. This is pretty weak right here. But it says here Osaka pulled out of the French Open back in May after she was fined for skipping post-match media sessions. In her statement announcing her withdrawal, Osaka revealed she suffered from long bouts of depression since her breakthrough 2018 U.S. Open win. She also explained, I get huge, huge bouts of anxiety before I speak to the world's media. But she has no problem doing photo shoots in swimsuits for the media. Funny how that actually works out, but I digress. Rothenberg said Osaka did come back to finish off today's press conference, which she gave ahead of her appearance at the Ohio WTA tournament. Osaka announced over the weekend that she would give all her prize money from the tournament to the to the relief efforts for Haiti. She also posted a tweet on Sunday thanking fans for staying to watch her practice saying I was really nervous because it was my first practice in front of a lot of people since COVID started. Now, it's, it's very good. You know, she wants to donate her money to the relief efforts in Haiti. Hats off to her. Kudos to her. But this was a fair question. This is no doubt was a fair question. But however, guys, Osaka's uh, uh, manager, her agent, slammed the reporter. This is what he said. Quote, the bully at the Cincinnati Inquirer is the epitome of why player media relations are so fraught right now. 
everyone on that Zoom will agree that his tone was all wrong and his sole purpose was to intimidate. Really appalling behavior. I think this is ridiculous, guys. I really do. Her agent is trying to defend her. It's a fair, fair question. Naomi Osaka, once again, cannot handle the heat. As long as she gets softball questions, you know, she's perfectly OK with the media. But when she has to answer the hard questions and this wasn't really much of a hard question, I just kind of think, you know, she probably felt like, oops, I'm kind of backed into a corner here. Uh, it's probably hypocritical that I use the media when it benefits me, but I don't want to actually speak to the media, especially to the people that ask me hard questions. And she's been exposed once again. This is pretty weak right here. Her agent's calling out this reporter. But it was a fair question. How in the world can you actually criticize and don't want to talk to the media, but you want to use the media for your benefit? And she did something else, too, when she was supposed to be uh, recuperating, getting her mental health right. But she was too busy actually out there trying to build her brand, doing photo shoots and that kind of thing. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Naomi Osaka crying, got her feelings hurt, got triggered by a reporter for a fair question. But of course, the media wants to say that it was uh, it was pretty bad. This media guy is bad. Completely ridiculous. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.